Hello and welcome to this segment of the module 6 on the threads and fasteners. In this video we will be looking at how to calculate the minimum required length of the bolt uh, for the external threads. So if we want to create an assembly and we have been given the type of the bolt, how do we design the length of that bolt to ensure that the assembly is completely secured and so to take a look at uh, this example let's start off with a new part what I'm going to be doing is create a square cross-section block in the units of inches and I'm going to start off with the top plane and create a square and assign the dimensions of 1.5 by 1.5. I'm going to click on the check mark, extrude it by half inch, and then finish this to make this solid model. Now I will be creating a hole, a through hole, uh, on from at the center of this square shaped cross sectional block. And so, in order to do that, let's first go to the hole wizard. And let's make a clear hole because if we want to use a bolt that's going to pass through the hole of this block and then we're going to add a couple of more blocks of the same type and then use two washers and the nut to create a bolt in the nut assembly. So for this purpose I'm going to create a hole and use the standard of ANSI inch and I'm going to choose the size of 7 16th. So my hole is going to be a little bit bigger than the fastener that I intend to use which will be 3 8 uh, in order to have a standard fit for this assembly. End condition would be through all and so once we have all these conditions um, created for this hole and also in addition make sure that the far side countersink is checked off. Then I'm going to go to positions and then choose this face and create this hole exactly at the center of this square shaped block. I'm going to click OK. And since this is a clear hole, we're not going to be able to see any threads obviously here. Uh, and also on the fact that this is a clear hole on this block. So the next step is I will be creating the assembly from this part. And so I will have to first save this part. Let's save this part and then create the assembly. So bring this part at the center. And now I will be going to insert components and create another part of the same type. Again, you can either leave that pin option on to add many instances if you would like for the same part or simply click and hold down the control key and then drag this part uh, to create another instance of it. So it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. And I'm going to place these three blocks and create an assembly on the uh, top of each other. So the first thing I'll be doing is uh, align the axis, create the met, same thing for the third block as well and then click on the check mark because I need to separate them out a little bit so that uh, we can create uh, the assembly. So the next assembly is going to be mating this face with the other. Again, the faces needs to be assembled. And that way we can uh, make uh, this assembly. Just one more time, I'm going to be making sure uh, that none of the components are allowed to rotate. And so now we can proceed for the other aspects of this assembly. The next thing I'm going to be doing is add two different washers, one at the top and one at the bottom of this assembly. So I can go to design library and under the ANSI inch, in the toolbox 
I'm going to look for the washers, which is the last option here. And let us say I want to use plain washers type A. And I'm going to use the preferred narrow flat washer type A. So I can either right click and create part and then insert that part into this assembly. Or I can just simply insert into the assembly uh, this particular washer by setting up the dimensions. So since I've created the hole of 7 16th inch, uh, I'm going to be using the washers and the threads for the fastener uh, of 3 8 uh, dimensions. So I'm going to use that 3 8 uh, dimension for this uh, washer and then I'm going to click OK. If we notice that the assembly that we when we create and the parts are uh, you know somewhere missing or you know somewhere they are hidden we can always click and drag them out and also we need uh, another one uh, let's first orient it uh, the way we would like to have that assembled and then I'm going to be using the control option to create another instance of it and move it uh, to the down part of this assembly and then let's go to mate and first align the axis click check mark and then align the faces so I'm going to move slightly up here and then choose the face option to complete the washer assembly and same thing I'm going to be doing it for the other washer as well to complete this washer assembly. So now I have two washers uh, in place and I'll go to design library one more time to bring the nut in this case. So look for the nuts option, click on it and let's say I'm going to use the hex nut and in that I'm going to be using let us say hex jam nut option. So again I'm going to right click on it and insert into the assembly and the size that I will be choosing is 3 8 16. So what that means is the 3 8 is the nominal diameter of the threads on the nut and 16 threads per inch is its TPI specification which means the pitch of the thread is equal to 1 16th of an inch. Again the finish I'm going to choose as the double chamfer and the thread display I'm going to use as the cosmetic and then click on the check mark and again I notice that uh, the part that I've created uh, is you know sort of hidden into this assembly then which I need to bring it out so that I can place it uh, at an appropriate location so again I'm going to orient it first as the way we want that to be assembled and once we have the proper orientation or approximate orientation then uh, click on the mate to align the axis first and then I'm going to match the faces so that the nut is in place as well. Now all we need is to know what should be the minimum length of the bolt that it's going to pass through this hole and make sure that the assembly is secured without compromising its strength and rigidity. So the general mechanical engineering principle is that whenever a bolt and the nut assembly is created we should be able to see at least two threads coming out after the end of this nut. And so there will be some calculations required here. Let us say we want to use uh, the evaluate feature and go to measure. And I want to check the distance from top of this washer to the bottom of this nut. And since I've used the inches system of units, let's first set the units to inches for this assembly. And now I'm going to go back to measure again and then click on this top to bottom distance 
the normal distance as you can see here is 1.86 inches okay so obviously 1.86 inches is the minimum length of the uh, bolt that we obviously need because the head of the uh, bolt is not going to be accounted for the length um, and so 1.86 is the minimum but as per the mechanical engineering principle for de design we need to add two extra pitch distance into the length of the bolt and so if we say 1.86 plus 2 times the pitch of the thread which is 1 16th of an inch remember we're using 3 8 dash 16 as the specification for these threads so the pitch of the thread is equal to 1 16th of an inch and that equals to 1.982 inches which will then we can round it up to 2.0 or the next nearest available standard size in that bolt because you know obviously no manufacturer is going to create uh, the bolt length of that uh, dimensions exactly so based on these calculations of accounting for two extra threads that will be visible beyond the uh, end of the nut then we can design the length of the bolt and so in this case this calculation comes out to be 1.982 which we can then round it up to 2 inches uh, or more with whatever this uh, next available size of the bolt that we want to choose again let's go to the design library let's go to the bolts and screws I'm going to choose the hex head and let's say I want to use the uh, hexagonal bolt I'm going to right click on it insert into the assembly and so we want to use 3 8 16 if that option is not uh, visible for if you're doing it for the first time then you need to pull it up and set it as 3 8 16 because we want to use the same uh, threads that will mesh with the threads on the nut so size 3 8 16 and the length as we calculated the next available length after 1.98 is 2 so we're going to use 2 inches of length and out of that we don't really need the whole length of the bolt to be threaded so we're going to just use one inch of that threaded cosmetic display is the option that we can choose here and then click on the check mark and so that way we can create the bolt again uh, if you are not able to see the threads then you need to go to the options document properties detailing and then click on the shaded cosmetic threads and then click OK. I'm going to orient this again going to the assembly tab as the way we want and then use the standard mate procedure to complete this assembly. So I'm going to first align the axis, bring it up a little bit and then match the bottom of the head of the bolt to the top face of the washer and then click on the check mark and click OK to finish the assembly and just to verify that our calculations make sense as we can clearly see the two threads coming out beyond the nut as we've used in this assembly so that uh, ensures that the nut assembly or the bolt in the nut assembly is is secured uh, you know for these three components together and that is how we can calculate the minimum required length of the bolt for the external threads thanks for watching and we'll talk about the threaded depth uh, for the internal part of the uh, solid model when a specified length of the bolt is provided uh, in the next part.